Hi, it's Robert here. I've got a, I had a realization. I want to share this um, understanding I have as I look at the fallen society that we're living in and the great tribulation that's about to envelop the whole earth. I'm looking at this, um, this, it's like a multiple layered reason why there's this infatuation with zombies in our media culture in the States. One of the most important or most popular shows to most people is like The Walking Dead, about dead zombies walking around trying to eat people. Um, when I was young and in the world, I used to watch zombie movies sometimes. For uh, one time for Halloween, I was a zombie, I think maybe two years in a row or something. Um, that was back in the 90s though before it really took off. I think nowadays it's coming around to the mainstream for a few reasons and I'll share it. It's a spiritual understanding I believe that I've achieved because of knowing about the great tribulation that's coming, about God's heart of judgment upon a society that rejects Him and that goes after the lust of the flesh rather than the fruit of the Spirit. And um, so I'll just start. Uh, the first thing that I see about it is, you know, it's like people that are living in a spirit of death or disobedience or the lust of the flesh that brings about death. They like to see dead people walking. I think it's something like um, lifelessness being animated and living. It's like a it's almost like a hope they'll have of keep living after they're dead without Christ. And I know it's not a direct reasoning, it's like a subconscious thing. Another thing, of course, people like the thrill of a scary movie, you know. But I think it goes deeper than that. And I think that also it's a pro it's a media um, industry programming thing too. The media the media industry is using it. The um, global government is using it through that. It's the same spirit at work. To desensitize people, especially with the video games, to desensitize people, okay, that enjoy it and are in the flesh, to be desensitized to shoot human beings that look like zombies. And now I'm going to get into the, I think the main point of this video is, when the Great Tribulation happens and the corporations are destroyed and there's no more any, there's no longer any um, makeup and deodorant and health, um, like vitamins and um, nutrients and soap and, you know, sanitary things and clothing to buy anymore and um, pills to keep people from freaking out and stressing out. I think that what's ha going to happen is people who are actually alive and whoever makes it through the calamities who are wandering around aimlessly in what's left of the cities and the towns and stuff, they're going to look like, act like, and smell like dead zombies. And what it's going to do is the people who do have guns and ammunition, I think it's the hope of the powers that be in the world that we would waste our ammunition on each other you know like and I think a lot of people are gonna go crazy and just start shooting people that look like zombies because they've seen it on TV and they've played it on their video games and their their crazy demonic uh, fear in their minds are gonna drive them to maybe believe they're in a zombie movie or something but I think the government is in, is counting on that to help them reduce the population I really think this is a major thing. I don't think that there, there is no value in these zombie movies and shows and games. So the only, you got to figure out who's going to benefit from this or who's going to get done, who will be able to use this to their perceived advantage and that would be the government, the beast, beast government. They want to reduce the population more than they're going to. That's laid out in the scriptures and the... Uh, they have their own documents to reduce their ideal population for years and all that. So just some food for thought there. And I would say that if you are wandering around, even if you're saved or not, if you go out in public after this happens, don't look like a zombie. You're just asking for a bullet. 
but anyway, that's just, and that's not very important, because if you don't have God, you're going to die anyway real soon, but the point is, is, you know, just to um, step away from the, uh, the influence of the lust of the flesh and the media, and look at what's happening with what is there. Um, I hope you've learned and gleaned something from this, and I hope if you um, have anything else to add along these lines, please you will comment in the section below on the comments, or make another response video. If you have any, um, if you had any visions or dreams from the maker of this type of thing where you see people that look like zombies wandering around getting shot, um, maybe share that in a video or post it also. I know there's a lot of people who have had dreams. I have had some, I, I'm not sure about the dreams I had, so I'm not going to say they're from God or prophetic, but had dreams about that type of thing. Um, and then I even have family members who've had dreams about that. I've seen a lot of good prophetic ministers on YouTube that have had dreams about these things. And um, not exactly this, but things in the tribulation period relating to that. Anyway, so take care and I hope you, um, you know, when we look at reality, we can understand things better. We can understand, when we understand the logic behind everything, we can know the truth more so we can love the truth more. And Jesus said, if you love, you know, that he is the truth. He says, if you love me, keep my commands. And we get blessed from keeping his commands. So, uh, Apostle Paul also said, you know, that if you love the truth, you'll be saved. The more you, I believe it's, um, it's relative to the more you love the truth, the more you will be saved. So, and the more you love Jesus, the more you can love the truth because you can realize that in the ultimate fullness of the truth, the ultimate um, result is Jesus redeeming all truth unto himself and that is beneficial for mankind and we are part of mankind so I think that's why there's a joy that is in the truth in the deepness of it so be blessed in Christ Jesus take care